Adam Bree, welcome to the show, man. Very excited to be here, Sean. Very excited to have you. What do we have? Oh, shit. Is this going to be in all the, everybody's home? Uh, initially, it'll be heavily law enforcement. Inspecting naval ships for rust to power lines to cell phone towers to SWAT teams to clearing buildings. It's crazy, man. The way that I think about it, we really serve the critical industries that our civilization depends on. Uh, But I think there's really something very special about building technology to serve the hardcore physical industries and the people that do hardcore physical work. And that's really what our products are all about. So that's a bullet hole. Uh, And and this X-10 was shot in the line of duty. So this was used by the Oklahoma City Police Department uh, and it was shot serving a homicide warrant. Oftentimes you're going after a bad guy, the bad guy's got a gun, they say the drone show up and they start shooting at it. But as I said, from our perspective, it's all good news. That's the whole point of the drone is that it it can take the risk and get the awareness uh, rather than having to put a person in harm's way. The Orange County Sheriff has released drone video showing part of the deputy involved shooting. Up in the sky, you're looking at South Florida's first drone deployed personal safety device. The process took virtually no time. This was really like a tragic situation. This was in Albuquerque. So these are a couple of nine year olds in their parents' backyard with a gun. Put it down, baby. Just drop it, buddy. Put it down, baby. You know, the neighbor basically reported that there were shots fired in the backyard. So they sent the police out. Because they have the drone, they know exactly what's going on. So they can see that it's a couple of kids. Two young boys in the backyard of an Albuquerque, New Mexico home. I don't even have the gun. I don't have the gun. County Sheriff John Allen credits the department's drone program for the safe ending of this high risk situation. Everybody heard the shots. They called 911. The drone got there in 20 seconds um, and it got 20 there. 20 seconds? Yeah. The difference in response here is transformative, right? Without the drone footage, all the officers know is that somebody got shot, they have no idea who did it, they have have no idea where he is, they have no idea if he's still armed, so they probably need to lock that whole place down. The chances of something tragic happening is non-trivial. Here we are looking at ourselves. Um, So right now I'm on kind of the wider field of view camera. If I punch in, so you'll see a transition here to the zoom camera. I can like. Wow. And it shows the thermal right next to it. Exactly, yeah. And the speaker enables you to talk to people on the ground. So, for example, if you want to like, you know, get somebody's attention. When they do pursue, they're taking a ton of risk. And so it's just a, you know, it's one of these situations where it's a terrible set of trade-offs. And if you can just send a drone, I think you can basically eliminate the need for high-speed ground pursuits because if the, you know, the drone's in the air, in most situations, the person won't even know that it's there following them. Last year, we had the great honor of, uh, I think, and I think we were really like the first U.S. drone company to be sanctioned by the Chinese government. Congratulations. Thank you. And I, I was named personally. So now I've been personally sanctioned by uh, Iran and the Chinese government. Nice. So their stated reason for, for sanctioning Skydio was uh, that we had sold drones to Taiwan. The only drones that we sold to Taiwan at the time went to the fire department. I think the real reason is that we are now quite successfully competing against DJI, their leading company in the market, and we're taking market share away from them. And then two, the US government is starting to restrict DJI. And so I think it was kind of a retaliatory move against that. But yeah, I mean, this, this is, you're like, you're how far into flying it? Like one minute into flying it? This is like world-class drone pilot stuff, like flying at high speed 
through obstacles. Uh, and with the autonomy system, it's just- Look at that shit. It's a piece of cake. The best way to sort of show it in prototype form was oh, to integrate it into a Cybertruck. Uh, so this is the Skydio Cybertruck. Um, and in the back of the truck, we've got a robotic arm that can uh, pick up a fixed wing vehicle. Dude, what? So it's all the same core technology that goes into X10, but now we've got it in a fixed wing drone that's launched by a robotic arm.